Thank you for that beautiful limerick. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Karma Dragonist, and I'm with uh, Trainer Anade, and we're going to be playing the Blue Marlin, specifically Any Percent. Um, what name won the bid war? Okay, I'm just going to refresh one last time. Looks like Bingus! Exclamation point. That's very important. I don't know if you can do exclamation points. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I think that's so maybe an extra from S. The info. <laughs> do, do we want the extra S or just oh, the one S? Oh wait! Stop! Hold on! Hold on! It got sniped. Oh. It got oh. sniped. I'm sorry for yelling. It. I. It just. I did a refresh and then it refreshed again. There was okay. a different name. All right. I cannot <gasps> believe it. Vaporeon <laughs> has just won. Let's see. Last how much minute. I It'll fit. V A P O R E O N. <laughs> Me counting out on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I counted out too. Oh, there we go. Wait, I guess I had one more character than I thought I did. Oops. <laughs> I'm Perfect. off to a great start. Okay. Um, time will start on this screen. So let's go ahead and get going with it. three, two, one, go. So first off, we're going to start here in Palm Beach, and I'm going to set a few things. I'm going to go really quickly through what I'm doing here, and then we'll kind of calm down a bit. But I'm going to set the line to be as strong as it can be and as short as it can be so that we have the best chance that we can possibly get for catching fish. And uh, I'm going to try to catch marlins specifically here, even though at some point we need to catch three fish before our second day that we do. But if we can get to the second day a little faster, that's always neat. All right, so we got one on the line. I hope you're ready for the ultimate fishing technique. What do you think, Anade? <laughs> oh, uh, oh no, my controller! No, my controller! <laughs> I wiggled too hard and accidentally disconnected it slightly. Oh no! Anyway, so <laughs> the first thing we do when we get fish on the line. He had a case of the wiggles. <laughs> yeah, we wiggle very aggressively, and this fish must be, like, huge or something, because, uh, it is not getting tired. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Oh. I think that fish might have actually been too big, <laughs> and it didn't help that I accidentally <laughs> disconnected <laughs> my controller. <laughs> We're off to a fantastic start. <laughs> okay, okay, getting control of myself again here. Um... So, <laughs> let me know if you want me to read a donation so you can compose yourself. <laughs> uh, just really quickly, um, to get a fish on the line, typically what you need to do is get the uh, bait that you see on screen to line up with where the marlin is, and they'll be following different objects uh, pretty closely behind. Okay, there we go. So, you see, we got the two sweat marks down there. And so now we, once we get those, we just hold A and just repeatedly hit down. And unfortunately, we got a random event and we got the bad luck there, but it's fine. <sighs> we do have okay. the 160 pound line test and that's a big enough fish to win day one. So I, <laughs> I was going to get to that shortly, but um, we have four fishing competitions that we need to win. And the weight to beat them is randomized between a specific range. And for day one, if we have a 300 pound fish, we're very likely to win, but a 400 pound fish is guaranteed to win. Uh, if I can get back to the dock, please, thank you. All right, so let's see how heavy this fish was. Um, and can I have a fish pun and then a donation? Uh, what do you call a reggae fish? A Bob Marlin. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. So I have a donation and, and a pun. How about that? Perfect. Heck yeah. <laughs> We have $25 from Ganomex. As a gamer who is hooked on fishing, I'm hey. glad to see a fishing speedrun at an official event. <laughs> I Beautiful. tuned in, eel specially for this run. I hope these puns aren't too carpy. If they are, let me know, and I'll reel it back next time. <laughs> Thank you for that donation. It was amazing. I just wanted to stop by the hot bee dancer for a moment, just because, like, <laughs> that dancer goes. <laughs> also, it gives some fish a chance to spawn. So, <laughs> to jump back into some explanations really quickly again, um, 
you need to have at least one body strength level, or was it just strength? I forget. But uh, basically, the gist of it is that you need to catch three fish before you can catch a big enough fish on this stage. So we're going to be looking for a 600 fish or a 600 pound fish, which this one feels a little too light anyway. But ah, dang it, bad luck. Uh, random events can just happen at any time while you're fishing here. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Anything that happens below 30 feet is something that can potentially break the line. One of the things that we said is that 160 pound line test, which makes the line a lot sturdier, but it gives you less um, points towards your skill experience when you, uh, like, you have three different skills that you can level up as the fisher person. You got like two different forms of strength, like one of them's like strength, one of them's stamina, and one of them is just called skill, but it might as well just be luck. <laughs> and it just gives you uh, better luck when you get those 50-50 choices. Um, <laughs> so yeah, after this fish, we should be able to catch a 600 pound fish. We'll get a little notification that we've leveled up after this one. And now we're actually able to catch a big enough fish. So uh, we're just going to be doing this for a little bit. Can I get another fish pun and a donation? Sure. Uh, what musical instrument can catch fish? Castanets. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm a fan of castanets. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. We have a $25 donation from N M. Excuse me, which reads less than three. I would also like to tell everyone that we've just opened another incentive for Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. That is a blindfolded Ruby fight. And Ruby is a rhythm boss fight. And I hear blindfolded. It's pretty cool. Neat. Let's get that met. <laughs> Uh, you may have noticed that the fish that I was going after before, like, disappeared very suddenly. Uh, depending on the shape of the school of fish that you're chasing after, they have different behaviors. If it's in a plus or an X shape, it'll dissipate as soon as it hits a wall. But if you have them in kind of more of a ring pattern, then uh, it'll keep bouncing off of walls and they're a little bit nicer to chase after. 300, not big enough. I guess I, I need to double check the ranges that I had again, but uh, basically anytime you catch a fish, it rounds it to the nearest hundred. So that fish could have been anywhere from 250 to like 349. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't no. have won anyway. Cause like I said, we're going for like a 600 pound fish to be safe on this level. Uh, Where have all the fish gone? <laughs> you can actually get marlins to show up off of other things, but the birds kind of... Oh, there we go. We got one off the birds. Okay. The marlins just kind of like to follow things in this game, and what you have to do in the trawling sections is just try and line your... Uh, lure up with where you think they are and then they'll show up and then they'll bite. So a lot of learning to run this game is figuring out how to properly trail different things. 700! Hey, we get to move on. Oh, That is definitely a win. Which uh, 700 is going to be our goal for the next day. And also you cannot catch <laughs> the whales and the sharks here. Sometimes sharks as part of a smaller school of fish will like bite the line and you'll get a different theme that plays when you've got them on the line uh, but yeah I th think we've got a bit of time here for maybe another pun and do donation okay well how about I asked a marlin for help and it wouldn't help because it was too sailfish <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> that one was a slow burn for me <laughs> <laughs> had to take a moment. I've got, Go I've got another pun donation. We have five dollars from LLK. Do you speedrun other fishing games, or are you just running this NES cart for the halibut? <laughs> Shout outs to that expert fishing technique of doing a two-frame pixel dance. All, and I don't know if this is blah, 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 or if it's blb 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 blb
Oh, whoops. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't want to actually cut... No! So here's the fishing theme for, whoops, when you have something that you don't want on the line. So we're just going to go ahead and cut the line and move on to the next fish here. Uh, shoot, I had something on my mind that is escaping me again. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of it again. <laughs> Ooh, you can kind of see, like, the lag that happens when you uh, have a bunch of fish moving around. So it's like usually not a bad idea to like disperse some of them i think i might actually head to another area because i'm just uh getting extreme slow down here i wanted to show off the music for this area uh the music depends on whether you go left center or right but that's fine we can head over to uh where i usually go here uh, i do believe okay good it saved my settings um Right, so the first two settings that I set were the strength of the line and the length of the line. Obviously, the less you have to reel in, um, the faster it is to catch the fish. It's a little harder to get them on the line at first, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. The other two things are based off of things that I read in the manual that like, we haven't fully confirmed how <laughs> effective they are. <laughs> My okay. most recent PB was literally changing the lure because normally I would just leave it be. But then just as the first run I did when I decided to like try messing around with different lures, I just happened to get a new PB. So we'll see. <laughs> and then... Uh, is there... I was just going to say, is there, like, guidance about what the different lures do, or...? Yeah, so theoretically, I actually do want to double-check to make sure my... Okay, good. Um, the small and large lures, theoretically, are good at catching sailfish, but you need to, quote-unquote, keep them fresh. I've never actually been out on the water long enough for them to not be fresh, because there's a little status screen that you can check to confirm whether it is or not. Mm. And uh, I'm just going to... That group of fish <laughs> is just not going at the correct angle for me. Uh, the other thing that you can adjust is the depth of your lure. And the manual specifically has like a table that you can check to see like if the weather is this and it's this time of day, you want to have your line at this depth which the weather is actually bugged in this game to always be clear. And uh, <laughs> theoretically, you should never have a day go beyond morning because time passes pretty slowly in this game. 600? Oh, uh, close. I need 700, but we can chance it. <laughs> like, so here's the thing about this game. If you don't get a big enough fish, all you do is replay that day. So, like, we really only have the setup time Okay, no, I'm not actually going to run with that, because I think that just actually cannot win. Mm. But uh, if somebody else wins, you just see their picture and it says, Oh, sorry, better luck next time, and then it just starts you right again on the same day. So it's mostly just a matter of, do you want to go back to the dock and spend the time weighing it or not? So is it, I know earlier you said that it, it rounds. Is it always round up or does it just round to closest? Nearest 100. Ooh, lucky. Okay. Sometimes you just get uh, the fish really exhausted and out of nowhere and it just goes to max uh, exhaustion, which makes it a heck of a lot easier to catch. Another 600, I'll, tr I'll try it. I so the idea is with the 600, it could be like 645. Right, and that... While unlikely, I think... I need to pull up my table. I really should have brought that up. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Oh, dang it. Got a little too close to that. Anyway, yeah. Um, we're hoping for a 700 here, because that will give us a really, really good chance here. Can I read um, you an inspirational donation? Please do. Excellent. We have $25 from Rexy. It says, good luck with the blue marlin, Karma. I'm confident that you'll go through the run with such efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd also like to quickly announce that there is a milestone incentive 
It's for the bonus game three, a link to the past randomizer. So this could be a two for one chat. You put your donation towards the Sly Cooper blindfolded ruby fight, and it also goes towards that milestone incentive of the link to the past randomizer. Let's get those donations in. Sweet. <laughs> and we did catch an 800 pounder, but we do have to weigh all of our fish before it'll let us go back in. So that is the other downside of catching a fish that is potentially too small. And uh -huh. as we see, when you get this heavy of a fish, it starts breaking the concrete. Not very known scientific <laughs> fact. And hey, there's our fisher person. All right, so we only have one more day to win here. 700s can win, but it's very infrequent. Um, it's 800 for a very safe win. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this game is extremely volatile in terms of just one specific run, how well it goes. But if you ever just really want to throw a few runs at a game and just maybe reset it a little bit, this is a game that's really fun to just, like, throw in a few attempts every now and then. The current record on this is, like, somewhere in the 6-7 minute range. I already spaced on the time, but this run can go very short if you just catch your first three fish and then just get all of the big enough fish in a row on the future competitions. But it can also... If the... <laughs> If the fish just decide you are not winning today, they can decide you are not winning today. <laughs> I have oh. a good luck donation if you'd like. Mm -hmm. For this uh, final fish catching. We have $25 from Billy Phoenix. So happy that I'm donating during this awesome run of the Blue Marlin. Less than three. Oh. Come back here, you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, may I have another fish pun, please? Uh, you can. So, why can't you ca catch fish from outer space? Why not? Because you you can only use earthworms. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I've got one too. Can I do one too? Can yes, I do yes. one too? We have $5 from Wise Lioness that says, What is an angelfish's oh favorite oh. video game? Halo. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, okay, so... We actually just wow. got the big enough fish where, where you can go home now. Uh, so, time will be after our fish weight ticks up on the screen that shows our fishermen. So, the fish weight is going to have to tick up twice before we call time. Um, and I guess just while I have a tiny bit of time, the way I do the fishing is that I hold down on the D-pad and then with my right hand, I just aggressively wiggle the controller underneath <laughs> my left thumb that's like only holding down so that it hits left and right really rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the first of the them, and there's our fisherman. So, as soon as this hits the top and we hit A a couple times and get to the fin screen, that'll be time. Time! Woo! Which wow. Here, speaking of fish puns, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway, yeah, there's not really any particularly specific community location, but a lot of the people who play the Blue Marlin, like there are so many runners for this game. If you want to pick it up, do it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Anade, for joining me. <laughs> thank you for giving me the opportunity to not be here. <laughs> no, I can't believe it. <laughs> Had to get one last in. <laughs> oh. I'm going to need a while to recover from that one. <laughs> thank you so much, Frame Fatals, for having me. <laughs> and I think that's, I think that's me signing off here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much for that run, Karma. Honestly, these old NES fishing games give me so much nostalgia. Can we get some more hype in chat for Karma? Speaking of hype, we have a $50 donation from Neobury. Hi, this is Neobury from the Free Enterprise Community. 
We'd love to show off a brand new final boss sprite to the community, but we need your help to meet the surprise zero. zero I can't zero mus. <laughs> Surprise Zeromus Sprite Incentive. Whew, that's a tongue twister. We need to meet that incentive before the run. So please donate towards this and the Harp Song Bid War. Good luck to Natara and Grey Goo Girl for their run tonight. And yeah, let's let's look at that. So Final Fantasy IV, Free Enterprise Harp Music Choice. Currently, Serene is in the lead. So you can uh, put your donations towards that bid war. But for the Sprite... For the surprise sprite, that is currently sitting at roughly $2,200 of the $7,000 we need. And we need to get that before the run. So let's make it happen, chat. All right. It's now time uh, to stretch, fill your water bottle, feed your pets, grab a snack, do what you need to do. We are going to take a quick break and we will be back with more Frost Towels 2023 after this. Welcome back, everyone, to Frost Fatales 2023 in benefit of Malala Fund. For those of you who are just joining us, Frost Fatales is presented by Frame Fatales, an all-women community for those who are interested in speedrunning, charity events, and gaming. If you would like to support Frame Fatales, you can follow us on Twitter, at Frame Fatales, and tell people about the event. To learn more, type exclamation point FF in the chat. And chat, while we get the next run set up, why don't we talk about soup? Chat, 
What's your favorite soup? For me, I would have to say that my childhood guilty pleasure was cream of potato. But now that I'm retro, I'm definitely going to have to go with my Mazel's French onion soup. Final answer, it's the absolute best. But I'm interested in your hot takes. So let me know with your donations. Speaking of donations, we have this amazing Porky Pig callback. $25 from an Onyx mouse. You never know what's in store. The gameplay is never a bore. With such great RNG, Porky Pig won with glee. Well, that's never happened before. We also have $25 from Code Yanagi. No comment, but thank you for your donation. We have another $25 from the Jaded Mew. No comment, but thank you so much as well for your donation. All donations made during Frost Fatales 2023 are going directly to the charity Malala Fund. Additionally, your donations could enter you in to win some fantastic prizes. So let's send you over to the prize team to see what's behind day number five. Big shot. Big shot. Big shot. That's right. Now's your So before we check out those amazing donations, I would like to read you some more donations. We have $40 from non boinery No comment, but thank you so much. We also have $10 from Anonymous. No comment, but thank you so much. And truly, chat, I really want to thank you for your donations in support of Malala Fund. It really, it's, you know, it's an amazing charity and it just warms my heart to be here and to be able to host with you and read your donations and hype the Goofy Block. And you know what else I'd like to do? I'd like to thank the Japanese Restream for providing an alternate language broadcast of Frost Fatales 2023. Japanese Restream is a community where people can enjoy various speedrun events held abroad in Japanese. They are broadcasting the event at twitch.tv slash Japanese underscore restream on a delay. Check out the schedule by doing exclamation point restream in the chat. We would love for viewers to join their stream and support the event. All right, it looks like the prize team has pre prepared that very special day number five door, so I'm going to send you over to them right now. Whoa, ho, ho, if it isn't a, hey, 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 looks like you're watching Frost House 2023. Well, have I got a special deal for lovely viewers like you. You can be a big shot, big shot. Big shot. That's right. Now's your chance to be a big shot. And I have just the thing you need. That prize segment. You want it. You want hyperlink block. Don't you? Well, have I got a deal for you? Meet local prizes straight from Frame Fatals. Hey, hey, hey. I've never seen a prize like that before. My eyes are burning like prizes of many games at $25 or less. I have a very special deal for you, kid. Attach these pins right on your physical form. Enjoy latest musical performance from highest fantasy video game. It's it's new. It's big. It's sent to us by Alley Cat. And it's ten dollar minimum donation. Another pin. Another pin. Another pin. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. It's also provided by Alley Cat. You know her. You love her. She's Saber Tooth Tiger. And she's coming for your local area. Make sure you donate because you don't want to miss this prize. 50% pinker than similar prizes. You simply can't forget what you've seen. This little puffball is a keychain. And they're holding dreamy ice. That's a printer spaghetti special. And it could be yours. Just five dollars. Just five dollars. These prizes won't last long. Donate, donate, donate. This fan favorite Faith mascot is back for a limited time only. Act now. She's 100% Eliza. Studio volunteer sourced. Sleep soundly knowing. Sharp Tiger. Is watching you from your painted house supports. Get your $25 minimum donation. In before this offer goes away forever. There's nothing wrong with having a nice prize once in a while. Surround yourself with classic Final Fantasy characters. Fifteen for the price of one. It's a social gathering for the history books for only a low, low minimum donation of twenty dollars. These hot beads can go from the house of kind of nerdy housewife to valued donator. Perfect for indoor location. Hey kid, you remember nostalgia? How about the deep slumber? and satisfaction of prolonged slumber. Then you've got to get your human fingers on this prize. Become a sleepy boy. Become a sleepy boy. Become a fabulous prize sent in by Doodle Mancy. It's only a $10 minimum donation. These kind of deals are going to get me fired, kid. Now that's what I'm talking about. You got guts, kid. That's discomfort and abdominal pain. In my guts. But we know what we want, don't we? Wild prizes! <laughs> then a deal's a deal! Prizes are doing business with you, kid! Let me say, let me say... Thanks. Thanks to your... Total donation. I have... Become... Frozen Flygon! And now it's my... Prize segment. My! Marathon. My! Okay. So why are you... Running... The games... To end my prize segment? Right at the... Good, good part. Who do you think you are, kid? That prize segment chat, wow. Wow, it was amazing. I mean, we need all the claps in chat for that. I I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm back here giggling <laughs> behind my mute button. It was so good. But there's so many amazing donations, uh, sorry, incentives. I... I I always I always look every day and I think it can't possibly we can't possibly have better uh prizes than the next day and then they're they're always as good as the day before. It's just incredible. I love it. I love it. <sighs> so I'm still waiting for those uh that your super soup donations chat. I would love to hear what uh you have to say about your favorite soup. And if anyone would like to you know, challenge my mazel's French onion soup. That is a tall ask, let me tell you. Okay, let's read a few more of your donations. We have $25 from, oh, ti tiny sign curve. <laughs> no comment, but thank you. Thank you for your donation. We also have $5 from Tracy and $5 from Shadow the Hedgehog. No comments. But thank you both. We also have $25 from Sherelle. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation. And chat, it is with an open heart and empty stomach that I would like to welcome everyone in to Frost Fatal Stadium for our next run. Tonight's secret ingredient is soup. Very, very carry. We'll be playing Dark Souls 2 Soup Percent. Allez, cuisine! <laughs> 